high, high, high and low and um, everything like that. Um, this morning I wanted to come back on because I'm making... I'm making cinch journals. I've had this cinch like forever and I have got so many coils that I said I'm going back to this cinchy thing and use up my coils, use my machine and I'm going to for a, for a minute or two stick to um, my 5 by 7 journals because I, at one time, I love the reusing, reusing, um, recycling, and I found these cards at the thrift shop that are a very heavy, they're five by seven, they're of a very heavy um, quality, and I thought these make the best covers. So I'm going to use these up to make... Um, journals while I was uh, while I was just now cleaning off my desk or yesterday I found two of these that I had made already I had made these ones already these journals and I had already pulled a name for the winners of these two then they got buried and I haven't got them mailed off so, I have Gypsy Rose Jane, and I have Susan Palm Roberts. I do know that Susan had sent me. Susan, you did send me your address. I know you did. And I thought I mailed this off. No, I didn't. Here it is. Gypsy Rose Jane, I don't know if you sent me um, your address. Because it was on June 6th that I pulled your name. And um, I'm going to need to get that address to send this to you. I've got Susan's, so I'm going to get that addressed and sent to you. And then I also found in my stack Tina C. And I never sent this off. I ne and I have your address. I never sent it off to you, but it's got your name on it, so I know it's yours. And there it's set. But this was when I was starting to get into my my whatever it was that I was in there for a while. So, but now I have them found. And so if you've been waiting, and then Aaron Klausner, there's yours. I found it too. I thought I mailed that to you, but that's what I get for thinking. So, and I do believe I have your address too. So now I will get these things completed and mailed off to you within, well, hopefully I got them all packaged and ready to go in tomorrow's mail because I've got them right here in front of my face. So I do not lose them. And then one more thing I had to mail off, Athena Schrock. I had sent this to her. But it, um, I had wrote the wrong address, so it got sent back to me, and I told her. I even sent then her an email or a message, and I said, I will be sending this off again because it came back to me, and she understood, and there it has sat for, geez, there a date on here? The 4th of June, yes, over a month, so... That's going to get sent off to. And but I got those four items sitting right there, ready to send them off. They were all in a basket, and um, the basket got covered. And I was just starting to get into my slump or my funk or whatever you call it, and everything just kind of went behind so please accept my apologies for that and know that I am I'm doing so much better now I don't know if any of you have ever went into a state of I guess it's depression I don't know if you but it's just it's just hard to um, it's just hard to 
do anything when that happens. So I apologize for not having those mailed off. Um, and they will be mailed off. And then I got a couple of special happy meals that I'm mailing too. But I, what I've been doing is I've been cutting a lot of papers. Just getting them cut into five by seven pieces. Five and a half, five and a half inches by seven. Five by seven is what I'm cutting these papers in. Getting different ones and then I put them together. Now for my journals. Now I had come across a magazine that I had. Okay, I think I've already cut it all up into little chunks. But um, it's all about um, flowers. Oh, what kind of flowers are they called? Now, that seems... Um, they're all about, what is it? Orchids. They're all orchids. And the pictures, the images in this magazine are beautiful. They're all due to, you know, orchids. So I said, what I'm going to do with this one now is I took two of those cards and I covered them. I covered them for the covers. Let's see, I have one. So this will be the the front cover. Look at how beautiful that is. And then this, that'll be the insides of the covers. And then the back cover with just all orchids. It's just beautiful. And I seen this flower I had. It's not an orchid, but it's a flower. It's botanical anyway, and I thought maybe somehow that's going to go on the front. I'm not sure. So, but it's so pretty. And so what I'm going to do now, oh, and then I went through some of my pages that I had cut and some of my things that I have cut and I ha that I've got cut to size already. And I went through and I, um, and I put together a collection of pages. And so I have plain ones. I have, um, this is a card. That card's going to get glued inside on one of the pages. But now some of the pages I have, let's see what I'm going to do here. I, I want my, let me first do my cover. Because I'm going to go ahead and get that centered my hole centered right in into okay ah, get it going right here okay I'm going to have that centered right there and that's and then please do right okay piece of tape come from. That must have been on something else I punched. So now I have those holes punched in the side. So that's 12 holes. That's good because that's perfect because these O-rings are 24. So if I just cut that in half, then that will be perfect. So that's the front cover. And this is the back cover, so I'll make sure I got both of them cut first. And I'll have those holes punched in, and hopefully they line straight up. And they do. They line straight up in, so that's perfect. That's going to be the covers. And then I'm going to take... I've got, I, I have, I'm putting in some plain, it's computer paper, some is coffee dyed paper. I will have um, some of the pages, I cut just a little flat piece off of a doily, those will be in there. Um, 
Again, this is a coffee dyed paper, and on that I'm going to glue on a, a pocket. And what I'm trying to do is, as I put them in, now see this is a Kool-Aid dyed paper. If I put a piece of very lightweight paper for writing, a lot of these will be left open and for journaling on. But I want to put behind them always a piece of like cardstock that will make like a flat surface when you're writing. So I don't want to put like if I have a page with a pocket on it, I don't want to put the page in front of it, a page like this, because then it'll make it kind of hard to write on. So that's what I'm, my plan is to always put a piece of cardstock behind the page of plain paper. I have, I'll have different sizes of pages in there. I have some pages here that are just regular um, filler paper for lined paper. And again, here's another doily. And see here, I have a piece of plain white paper and then the piece of cardstock. This, um, and then I have, I don't have it all put together, but I'm going to have pockets in here. Um, music paper, I, I think no journal is complete without music print because it is beautiful. And um, then, then I have some vintage book pages and they're going to be put in there, but I'm putting on the vintage book pages, I'm putting a little um, strip down the part that's whole because our vintage papers that we get now are very fragile because they are vintage. They're very old. So the paper will actually break. But the paper that they used when these kind of things were printed was not acid free. And it wasn't an acid free paper. Nowadays, most papers are acid free that they use in books and then that'll make a book last a whole lot longer before it starts getting brittle like this but which in a way it's sad because we won't get this vintage looking paper years from now it'll all look new forever and so okay this is a little paper that I um, that was one of my gluing days I just glued a lot of things together so it's a little collage this is a coloring sheet that um, I colored one butterfly and then we have this is a leaf that I printed an actual leaf that I used to make a print that's going to be glued onto something but it's going to be in here and this is another music sheet now I have noticed that some people when they get a music sheet sheet if there's pencil marks on it they erase them I don't erase them because I think the pencil marks that somebody used excuse me here let me get rid of this one okay now because I think the pencil markings on them give them character the the person who was learning and this is a piece of Beethoven, um, the person who was leaving, learning this, that was their note. And I think that gives it some more character. And so this is a, well, it's a front of a card, um, handmade. It says, I am love with this day. And I'm going to put that in there. Um, more music. And more um, watercolored paper. This one is these. Together. This one here, this grayish, blackish looking one, that was um, made by Spain. Um, Spanky made that. I love that. It's so pretty. I bought it from one of her auctions. And then this one here is a pocket. And I colored this and then cut it out and put it on that page. 
I'm not sure how well. Yeah, that probably will go like this. And then again, we have some plain paper, some um, writing paper, a piece of map. So uh, it's it's kind of like a junk journal, but it's just a, um, some of the pages will be a little shorter. This one I already have cut. And this is, oh, that's a piece off of a little Debbie box. This is one of my very first watercolor paintings. So there's going to be a, oh, see, here's one where I already glued this envelope on this little pocket, but I put a little edging on this page just because I think if I punch holes in just this very vintage paper that it wouldn't hold up. I think once you turn the page a couple times on the coils, it would it would rip. They would it would break. Actually break. The paper would break. So I put a little something there. And then here we go again. And um, here is some more of that collage paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my holes punched in here. I'm going to get my holes punched and make sure I get them all in the proper order. I've got some strips here because the strips, I got them ready because they're going to go on that vintage paper. And um, so I'm going to I can actually put more pages than that in at one time, but let me just check. I want to make sure that this is going to be okay. Yeah, that's going to be good. There's a one-page journal right there. Okay, so then I can go make sure I have these in the right direction. And I'm going to go with... See, this here is what I mean. If I put this thin piece of paper right over this one, then this is this is going to make it a little hard to write on this. So I will have this, which is a lightweight cardstock, in between. And then that is what will make it much easier to write on an actual journaling page. Because there will be some... Um, journaling pages, and then there'll be some look at me pages as well. So we like the look at me pages. And then there's my little, now this, my little watercoloring isn't, is not five by seven. It's different. So I'm going to just kind of put that one in the middle. Yeah, I'll just, let's see. Yeah, let's see, it's. It'll go in there. It won't be as big as the other pages, but it'll be just fine. And then, see, on the back of this, this is a piece of, uh, I won't put anything on the white part, but I'm going to put something on the back that I will maybe not even cover the whole thing, maybe just a part of it. And so this one's already got holes, this one up here. And this one can go here, and this one will go here. Little map. And so I'll get those put in there. And then see this edge thing on the cinch machine that's parked right where it needs to be so that when I do, when I do, um, When I, I don't know what I was going to say. See how my mind goes? It just goes nuts. Okay, this is going to be, this is going to go this way. So the pocket will be on the back side of the sheet, which is fine. I'm not going to put an extra paper on there because I've got that colored, that piece that I colored. I like to have a little bit of my own doodles or artwork in in the books that I make. Just a little bit, not much. And um, yeah, you can always rip it out if you don't want it. 
end. So I'm going to put, let me see. Well, I can still move these around, I guess, once I, once I get them. And I want, I just want to make sure I have the wording and stuff headed in the right direction. I can, as I'm putting them together onto the O-rings, I can kind of sort the papers as I want. And then this is so pretty, I want to put that in there. And that's another thing you can use too in your journals is, is to use Especially your card fronts, so pretty. They are so pretty. And you never want to throw a card away. You know, you want you want your card fronts. Now see this one here, I've got that piece. I'm going to take one of these strips. And I am going to put it along the edge right here. This is a music strip. So I'm going to just glue that right on the edge. And that's going to make that, this is the edge where I'm going to punch the holes. Punch the holes on this edge. So by having this little strip down there, that's just going to make that um, a little bit stronger so that we don't worry about it coming apart when um, I won't punch that for a second. I'm going to let that glue dry and then we'll go on to these. Make sure these are ready. those in there and punch those holes and I don't know if I'm going to put these I'm making a lot I have got um, so I will be selling them I will be selling them I will not charge an arm and a leg because I know you need your arms and legs for other things so, and I haven't decided yet if I want to put them on Etsy or if I want to just try to, um, to maybe just put up, sell them right on through, through, um, oh, what do you call it? The, uh, I don't know. I can sell them right through Facebook Messenger because I, I can accept money that way or where I use my, what do you call that other account? Um, oh, no, I can't even remember. Oh, good night, Elizabeth. Um, PayPal. So, and... I'm not sure yet what I'm going to charge for them. I have to kind of, I don't have a lot of money in them. I do have time. Oopsie. Now that one there, I didn't get that. I didn't get that pushed in for enough. So I'm not going to use those right there. I'll use them on something else. Now this will go. I see you have to be so careful when you're doing this. Make sure you have it all the way to the back before you actually punch the holes. Now see there, it punched those holes in, you know, the paper and the little trim that gives a little bit more of a, um, a little bit more of a, okay, let's see, here's, oh, there's a piece of vellum. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use, there's another page with the, 
pocket, and then this is a page, a cloudy, a cloudy page with a rainbow, so let me put them in there. Yeah, the ones that I just punched, not good. Okay, and so those punched fine. So now what we do is now I get my, um, now I'll get, I'll go to the side here. And on the side, let me see. Curly T sent me a friend request. Okay. Now, I'm going to, now is when I cut my, my, my O-rings here. And I need 12 rings. There's 24 on, on each piece. And these are one inch, so they're they're um, of a good size that I can okay make the journal a little thicker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I'll cut that. This isn't a cutter. This is a Pair of pliers that won't work, Elizabeth. Wait a minute, let me reach. Let me do my reaching here. And does this one cut? No, that one don't cut either. Now, let me see. Do these ones cut? No, they don't cut either. Now, ow! Sharp in there. That one's not a cutter. Oh, this one is. Oh, this one is. Okay. Throw that back down there. And put this on here and cut this right here. There we go. Now I got that cut. Throw that back in the drawer. Okay, now. Now I'm going to put these, I hang that right on the side. The cinch has a little, uh, little hooks here where you can hook that right on. Okay, and so then is when I begin to put my, my pages on. So now this is going to be, let's see, what am I going to do here? Okay, I gotta remember again. Is this gonna be my first page? Or is this gonna be my last page? Don't know. Oh god, I can't remember. Okay, this is my covers. My covers go on last. Okay, so I'm gonna just start putting pages on. We'll see how it works out. And um And so I'm just going to get all my pages on here. And I just kind of put them in the order that I want them. Okay, these are going to be glued on. And then this will go kind of in the middle. So you see some of the pages aren't going to be... I could put some at the top and some at the bottom. And But I've got my assortment of nice pages and that's what I want and so we'll get all of those on there and hopefully I got them on there correctly, which I do believe I got them on there correctly. And then I'm going to put that card in there. That would make such a pretty page. Oh, let's get that one behind here and get this on here like this. This go this way, that go that way, this way, that way. Okay. This, oh, I punched that hole in there. Okay, you know what? I'm going to put this one toward the bottom. 
because I think I'm going to go ahead and glue this to make a pocket. Okay, I think, I think so. And then, let's get these on here. Let's not take all day. And there. See that one there? Oh, that one went, that one went crooked too. So that one I won't use. That's my little Debbie page. And so, and then there's my little artwork there, if we can call it artwork. What the heck? We're going to call it artwork. Let's get this on here. This way. This way. And this way. Now these will get glued on here. So I've got all the pages in. So now I want to put the front. Okay, let me... I always forget this now. If I'm doing it right, I'm doing it. Front is going to be here. That's the front. And then the back is going to be this way. Okay, that's right. So then the... So then the closing will be, the grip will be in front of the back cover. And so now I'm going to, these are one inch, but these are the zutter rings. So I'm going to go to, I'm going to turn this to one inch. I'm going to put it actually seven eighths because the zutters need when you use the zutter rings on a zinch cinch on the cinch zutter on the zinch then you have to go just a tad smaller on the okay so now now I make sure I've got see how you have on these rings there you, you got to make sure this and this this row and this row are touching they're pushed up against the um pushed up against the back before we actually then push this down now we're going to push we have that measurement right and then we're going to push this down and hopefully it's right oops this one here for some reason poked up in the air why does that want to poke up in the air? I don't know. Because for some reason, I didn't have it correct. So, But that's not a problem because I have pliers. And I can fix it. And get it bent to match the rest of them. And there. Now, when I close this right, will it be right? Yeah. You know what? That's a little crooked. Okay. My, um, okay. Now there's the book. But I can see now where my O-ring, for some reason, I might have been pushing too hard, and my O-ring is like a D-ring. Okay, so then here's how my pages will go. I'm going to fix that. I, I'm, I can fix that to make it back into an O. But see, now here's how my pages will turn. And so we have all different. Okay, so now this one here. I'm going to be putting different things in also as as I go and 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 you all might even recognize things as I put them in because I have 
my um, subscribers have sent me so many beautiful things. I first was very much hoarding them, thinking that um, I wanted them all for myself. Selfish, selfish Lizzie. No. So I decided, and these were sent to me as a gift. And, um, and so what now I want to do, yeah, I want to use those things. Now this, you see how that is like ripped and raggedy? I love that. I love that it's ripped and raggedy. Let me turn this. Okay. Um. I, that is a cool, that is beautiful. That's a beautiful look. Look how pretty this looks on here. So that's going to go on there. And then what I'm going to do here is just glue three sides because I might put a tag in there. I might put a tag in here. Now, you, you all tell me, and I need your help. A lot of times I need your help. And you all tell me what, what you think is a fair price to ask for something like this. What would be, what would your idea be? What would you pay? That's what I want to know. What would you pay for something like this? And I'm just, and you know, come up with a fair price, not too much. I go on Etsy and I say, okay, I'm going to look on Etsy and I'm going to see what other people are charging for this and that and whatever. And um, I see some prices and I said, how in the world can somebody ask that much money? I mean, I've seen, I've seen where people have asked for, I've seen some journals in up there that people have asked for hundreds of dollars. And I, I don't get that. I don't, I don't get that. I mean, yes, there's time in them. Yes, there's product in them. But hundreds of dollars, that just seems like so much money. I had to get a drink of my coffee. That just seems like so much money. And to me, it just does not seem fair or right to ask somebody for that much money. Even though it's, they're worth it. I'm telling you, they're worth it. But the, they're worth that much money. But people, but they sell them. People sell them. They sell them like that. And, um... Okay, I think I'm going to put this on on a back side so that when it opens, it'll flip this way. So I'm going to put that card on there. And so then that will flip out this way. That's pretty. I like my little cards. And I'm like I'm. I've told I've told you all. I've told most that I'm starting to do play with. I'm playing with. I'm never going to get like um. I'm never going to get like perfected at it. But I'm playing with um watercolors. So we'll find watercolor images in a lot of the things that I do. Now these are more, I think here I'm going to make just a tuck spot out of this. This was part of the magazine as well. So because, now see, that I, I glued that down the side and then just across this little bottom. So something will tuck in here. 
but I have cut out quite a few different just little pictures of orchids that are so beautiful, just so, so, so beautiful. And look at how this will look right here. And I'm just going to glue that one on there. And so this is a magazine. See, this is what I say. And this is a magazine that I bought at the thrift shop. But because of the beautiful flowers, I said, uh, that's worth 10 cents. Now, if you go and buy something, you know, with that much beauty in it at a, at a um, craft store or hobby shop, whatever, you're going to pay... You know, a pad of paper can cost you $20, and some of them even more. And so, some of them even more than $20. They're, it's like unbelievable what some, uh, some people, uh, some things um, are priced at. It's just, what was this? Oh, that was the glue page there. This looks a little skanky, doesn't it? I'm going to put this here on the edge of that page just to cover up some of the skanky. It's not really skanky. I just have got like glue and paint on it. So I'm going to cover that up. But that's out of that. Um, I've never tried to grow orchids because they are, they're tricky. I mean, there are some people, that's all they grow is orchids. And oh, oh my gosh, they're beautiful, just beautiful. But I have, I have had a couple orchid plants, but I don't have them anymore, if that's telling you anything at all. Um, but I want to get, I want to put a lot of these orchid images. So this is going to be a more of a, orchid themed journal here and um, again with plenty of place for plenty, oh I didn't get that in there very straight either oh well I'm going to pull that out of there because I didn't realize I didn't have that in there straight so you know what I think I'll do though is I'll go ahead because I do want some doily action in my book. I want some doily action. I'm going to cut those little. I'm going to just cut it like this and get them holes cut off. And then I can just put this. I'm going to just glue that on there like that on the edge of the page. I'm going to just put it on the edge of a writing page. That's okay. You can write around it. Let me see how I'll do that. I'm, I might add something still to that. I may still add to that. I don't know which is the top and the bottom. Okay, that's the top. Okay, just beautiful, just beautiful these are. And I just cut them out of the book, and there's my embellishments, and I think they're so pretty. Scam likely. God, why do we get so many scam likely telephone calls? I probably don't want any scam likely telephone calls. That I'm just gluing at the bottom because then I can maybe tuck something underneath it. This is cute. That must have been off the cover because that's a heavier piece. There we go. And so, and see what I can do too, though. Some of these are like double sided. 
So So many ideas, so many ideas. These are so pretty. Oh, look at these ones here. Oh, both sides. Okay, I'm going to, I have to have that purple one. There's some things you just have to have in life. And, oh, here's that other doily that didn't cut straight. I'm not going to cut that off of that. I'm not going to cut the holes off of this one. I'm going to put this on here like this and put it right to the edge of the paper like that. But then I'm going to get a piece of this, um, of these little strips. You know, I have so many of these. And... I'm going to, oh, these are beautiful stamps. Oh, I didn't know I had them in there. Okay, these are like clouds. Okay. And so I'm going to take that, and I'm going to glue that right on the edge of that paper like that. So I'm just going to go down here with my glue. So that's why I didn't need to cut those holes off of there. I like decorating the pages up. I decorate them. I want it, I don't want to do too much decoration because I don't want to completely cover the page, you know, to where there's um, the book to where there's no place to really journal in it. But I do like pretty things on, on the journals. You just had them scissors, you know. I just had them out there. And then we'll put them right here. Okay, so that's good. So then that makes a pretty little tuck spot. Well, it's not. It's glued right there, see? So it's really a pretty. But then you've got all this room to write around there. But now, oh, that's right. I was, I was cutting this, and then I saw the squirrel. So let me cut that out. These are so pretty. So very pretty. I just... Orchids, I think, are just so pretty. And you know, you look at an orchid and it's... They're like really a work of art. There's some orchids I understand that, you know, they'll only bloom like once every five years or something. And people will pamper and pamper and pamper that plant for all those five years in between, just waiting for it to bloom. And then and then on that special time, you know, then they, um, let me see. I was trying to think about something here. Now, if I fold that there, cover up that print, make that a little bit smaller, and then if I fold this over here like this, okay. And then glue where I just folded this. Sometimes things on both sides of the page are pretty. And so there, and I have that two sides, and I folded this over. I'm going to glue this right here. And I'm going to put this, glue that right there. So now that edge is the only place that's glued. And then you can flip it, and then you have that image there. Now here where I glued that, it kind of looks lumpy. So I don't want it to look lumpy. This is, again, okay, the same way. 
So now that looks like that would be the top, but that's actually the bottom because on here I can see the way the print goes on that page. So that has to be the bottom. So I'm going to do the same thing here in this to glue that over. So that beauty full, so the beautiful is still there. And then I'm just going to cut, fold a small piece of this over that I can put the glue on that small piece and put that right there on the edge. Then this way, just the edge is glued. It'll flip open where you have image on both sides and you still have the whole page to journal on. That's pretty. And I could, oh, I, this is too wide. Okay, so anyhow, I, I won't keep you like, like forever because I know you all have things to do, places to go, people to see. And um, I don't want to take up all of your life, although I do want you to move in with me. And um, I am going to be going through this book, and there is going to be more botanical. I've got to fix these rings. I I may even have to take these rings off and redo them, but I think I can fix them all with my pliers and my fingers. I might have had that cinched a little too tight. I may take that whole thing off of there and just put a whole new, I do think I'm going to do that, put the new one on there. But this is the beginning, and um, yeah, this is the beginning of my orchid journal and it is going to end up so if there's any of you that really love orchids this might be a journal for you i'm going to have more pockets in here more things in the pockets maybe tags with some because i've got so many more pictures of um of orchids so many more Look at how that blends right into that. This one goes like this. Oh, I'm just going to glue this one on. I'm just going to glue that on there just because I won't I do that yet. That's pretty. And then I have, you know what I have? And I had them right here. Oh, here they are. I have this. This was sent to me by a subscriber as well and it's just a whole bunch of punch outs little ones tiny little somebody sat here until they got arthritic thumbs punching out so many things so like these are going to be awesome just to put here and there and everywhere so now like here is a let me see I, I want to dig here and find ooh, something that'll show against my color. That one's too dark. I don't want that one right now. Ooh, look at this. Ah, oh, look at this one. See there? There's a number 10 right there for some reason. So I want to cover up that number 10 and with a butterfly. I might have quite a few butterflies in throughout this book, too. In, uh, throughout the orchid book. But let me know if anybody's interested in orchids. I'm going to take this ring off and I'm going to redo it because it is bent wrong. I don't like it and I've got a lot of it so I can make that right. Um, it's got the orchids on the front. It's got the orchids on the back cover. Yeah, it's just not going to work this way. This is not going to work. So I'm going to take that out and re rebind it. But this is what this is going to be, is my orchid, my orchid um, journal. And maybe I'll put a ribbon around to tie somehow here. Um, orchids just need a, like organza ribbon. And yes, I will have things that will 
go in the pockets here, maybe a little, yeah, a little something. But so you have a little vintage in here, you have a little bit of scribble art in here, you have places to write in here, um, there's a map of Florida, well it's part of Florida, music sheets, uh, you'll have just beautiful pictures of orchids throughout and um, I might even draw do some little drawing on here I'll, there'll be a lot more in here before I actually offer it as for sale and I'm thinking maybe I may end up offering it for sale just on on um, on on this group on on YouTube to be paid for through um, through the PayPal because I can ship it less expensive that way. Um, I'm finding that my Etsy orders are, you know, because Etsy makes up the shipping and it seems like it's way too much money. And so we're, we're into saving money, I think, anyway. So I'm going to end. I'm going to end this video now and then I'm... I think it's lunchtime. Is it lunchtime? 11.46. Yeah, it is lunchtime. I'm hungry. Well, maybe that's because I didn't eat breakfast. Okay, let's see. I'm going to... Okay, I'm looking at the um, piece. Here we go. Power of your word, this one here. I look up here now and see what what I have as a heading for each each one. And power of your word. Let's read what that says. Start listening to what you say. If you hear yourself using negative or limiting words, change them. I speak and think positively. If you could understand the power of your words, you would be careful about what you say. You would constantly use positive affirmations. The universe always says yes to whatever you say, no matter what you choose to believe. If you choose to believe that you are not enough and life will never be any good and you will never get anything that you want, then the universe will respond and that is exactly what you will have. The moment you start to change, the moment you are willing to bring good into your life, the universe will respond in kind. That is a very good reading for today. I think we all need to hear that. And we have to quit saying, oh, I can't do that. I didn't. No. Mm -mm. You didn't do anything. Okay. I want to say God bless you to all of you. May God watch over you every step you take, every move you make, and do speak and think positively. And I will see you on the very next video. God bless. God bless my beautiful subscribers.